Hello, everyone, and welcome to Heated Conversations, episode four, the show where the sauce is hot and the questions turn up the heat. I'm CMS with CMS, and today we are welcoming to the show Miss Lizette de la Trinidad Alvarado. Lizette graduated from Cal Poly Pomona with a bachelor's in kinesiology and with an emphasis in health promotion. And then she uh, went on to CGU for her master's in public health with an emphasis in leadership management, and she is now the associate director at the Sally Turner Fieldhouse. Um, she's passionate about the development of students and helping them achieve their personal, academic, and professional goals. Some of her signature, self, uh, signature health and wellness programs include the Fresh Check Day, uh, Movies for Mental Health, Be Well Fridays, the Therapy Dog Program, the Pure Health Educators Program, and in addition, Lizette co-leads the development and implementation of the Scripps Wellness-themed learning community with residential staff members. Welcome, Lizette. Thank you. Are you excited about this? How do you feel? What, what do we got? I am nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I do can you, smell it already. So yes. So sorry. you know the rules and you know how we're going to go through this? Okay. Yep. The, the only rule is that there's, there's no real rules. So okay. we're just going to eat some wings, have some good conversation, and have a good time. All right. Sounds good. All right. Yep. So let's get going. We're going to okay. go from, wing, from sauce out. So the first one's right here. Wing number one. This is Frank's. Uh, red hot wind sauce. Alright, All right, cheers. cheers. So, you were uh, instrumental in bringing this amazing new wellness room online here. Can you talk about the importance of this space and kind of how we got here? Yeah, here at the Field House, we saw that there was a perception that students were recognizing us as just a fitness facility. Mm -hmm. And when you look at our mission statement, we really focus on holistic wellness. And um, we wanted to provide a space where um, students can actually see that because we have a lot of programming coming out of the field house yeah. that deals with holistic health um, and we address different um, dimensions of health and wellness. And so we wanted to provide a space where it was really um, apparent and people weren't just viewing us as a fitness facility. Yeah. Um, so that's why we wanted to come and bring that space here. So it's really creating an atmosphere for students to come relax, um, de-stress, um, have access to different mental health resources, sexual health um, and wellness resources. Yeah. Um, and so I think that space uh, does that really well. Yeah, I've been in here for a solid 30 minutes and it is legit. Right. I think that um, <laughs> Fieldhouse and Roberts are going to have to partner on getting that massage chair down to Roberts just so we can you know, test it out to make sure it's not broken. Or oh yeah. yeah, 10, 15 minutes in there, you yeah. don't want to leave. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, wing number two. Okay. Moving right along yeah. here, uh, Louisiana hop sauce. Okay. okay, not that too bad. Here we go. So, you heard a rumor uh -huh. that you've been swimming with sharks. I have. Yeah, can you kind of what it was all about? How did yeah. you get to that experience? Um, so, me and my husband were married in Tulum, mm -hmm. and for our honeymoon, we were doing a lot of um, excursions out there, and so we went to Ishkadet, and there they have different. Um, like activities you can do and one of them was uh, swimming with nurse sharks okay and I'm thinking like oh, okay a nurse shark is small and um, sure enough we get in the water and we're sitting next to each other and the person comes and brings this pretty large shark yeah. in both of our laps has them upside down and it's like oh go ahead feed them and so it was always on my bucket list yeah. and I'm glad I did it but um, Next on my list is to swim with white sharks, but in the cages. Like, okay. They have something yeah. like that in like Long Beach. Yeah. So okay. More to come for I'm sure. I'm all about the, the, the cage life would be more ideal. Mm -hmm. Just a, a shark out there doing something that's probably not, <laughs> right. not my realm. Of <laughs> yeah. Very good. All right. You feeling good? I'm feeling good. All right. Mm -hmm. Wing number three. All right. Um, this one is the pineapple habanero there. Okay. You said you were excited about this one before. Yeah, because it has pineapple. Yeah, so exactly. Like delicious. I mean, they're A1, nice and saucy. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the sauce boss, my Ryan. She started out at Cod Poly mm -hmm. um, as a fine arts major, right? I did. Yeah, and then um, at that time, you were really, I'm gonna say, you are really good because you were selling some of your artwork, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, then you switched to kinesiology, right? So can yeah. you talk about kind of what that process was like and why? Yeah, um, so when I started off as a fine arts major, I did have a couple of shows and I was selling a lot of my art pieces and originally I wanted to pursue a career in becoming either a teacher, a high school teacher, mm -hmm. teaching art classes, 
But then at that point, um, they were cutting a lot of art programs out of schools. So it just wasn't um, feasible, I think, in the long run. Yeah. It didn't align with my long-term goals of what I wanted. Um, and around that same time, too, my mom had gotten pretty sick. And uh, her illness was really related to a lot of um, lifestyle habits. Mm -hmm. And so it really kind of made me switch my um, method and start looking at preventative health care. Uh, and then that was it. Like yeah. I went into that direction, was starting to look at occupational therapy as maybe being an option. Um, did that for a little bit and was like, yeah, no, that's yeah, not for I'm me. Not. <laughs> Yeah, and then found public health and was like, okay, this fits. This That's is where awesome. I'm supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. a lot of times, um, I mean, here at the colleges, you hear all the time the students don't, they think they know what they want to do, yeah. right? And you don't really know until something hits, hits with you and, and really sticks. So I think that is an awesome story of like, like your journey. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I try to be transparent with the students, too, to say, like, it's okay if your route doesn't start off what you, you know, originally thought it was going to be. Yeah. I must have changed my major, like, four or five times. Yeah. You know, it's I added an extra point. year to it, yeah, but it's my like, journey, but... Who cares? <laughs> yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather have it taken another year than to be doing something I don't like to do. Yeah. So. That's awesome. Number four, right. Los Calientes. Let's do it. You're familiar with this one, I hear. Yes, I am. Okay. So, I know what I'm in for. <laughs> So scientists have found that being a sports fan can be good for your emotional, <laughs> psychological, social health. Okay? Okay. How has being an avid Dodger fan helped you in, in life? <laughs> <laughs> I would say lately. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're not having the best, you know, yeah. luck, that's for sure. Um, I think everything that happened with the Astros in the last World Series was very disappointing. Not great. Yeah, you know, and they keep getting close to it, and it's just like your hopes get, like, up, and you're like, we're almost there, yeah. and then... and then nothing. Boom. Yeah, yeah. I, so. I am right there with you at that. Yeah. It's just like... Obviously, now with all the cheating stuff, it feels better, but I remember after that 2017 World Series, I was like, well, I'm never going to watch baseball again. Yeah. We're right there, and it just didn't happen, so I'm done here. Yep, yeah, and when they were going up against the Astros, I was studying for um, one of my finals in my MPH program, uh -huh. and it was during finals, and I was like, I can't concentrate yeah. on my final exam to study because this is going on in the background. Right. So I put the, my final studying aside to watch the game, yeah. so then when it turned out the way it did, I was even more Yeah, like, really? <laughs> that, so. I committed, and I got nothing yep. out of it. Yep, so, I, I, yeah, yeah, geez. got let down. All right, so we got through number four, on to wing number five, right. the Fiery Fool. Okay. Okay, ready Let's to try. go? Ready. So, we did a deep dive mm -hmm. into your limited social media presence, <laughs> but we got a picture for you. Okay. So, um, kind of talk to us about what this picture is and... Kind of everything about it. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I love this picture. So, um, this is my dog Vader. Vader. Yep. Um, he, we got him. He must have been like three months old at this point. Uh huh. Um, and so he just needed a bath because he like really stunk. Yeah. Um, as labs tend to, and we didn't have like uh, I didn't want to put him like just with the hose to like hose him down or anything, yeah. so we had this big red bucket. Make him feel comfortable. Right, just give him like a bubble bath yeah. there. So, yeah, he's, I spoiled him rotten. That's okay, as you should. Yep, I'm very upset at him lately because he's been getting up at like two in the morning to come wake me up he's every just night. Hang out. Yeah. Yep. And I'm just like, yeah, no, 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 I love <laughs> you, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very good, great, you gotta go. You need to stay away. <laughs> very good, all right? That one had a kick. That one had a little, that one. little, little pop. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, wing number six. This is um, Buffalo Wild Wings Mango Habanero. Okay. Familiar with it? I'm not. Okay. Wait, mango, though, that's kind of... Yeah, it is good. Okay. It's a little mix. Yeah. All right. There we go. I'm scared. Don't be scared. You were a first-gen student, mm -hmm. right? So how has that experience helped you here at um, Claremont Colleges and specifically at an all-women's college? Um, I think it's helped me connect to a lot of students. Um, that have gone through that experience. Um, it is something that is hard to navigate. Mm -hmm. be, at least that's how my experience was. Um, I didn't really have you know, my parents to go back to and ask for advice. And I felt like me, at that moment in undergrad, I was very hesitant to go to like administrative staff and ask for help. Mm -hmm. I thought it was something I was just supposed to know already. And so when I come across students that have that similar view, 
Um, I share my story, so I like to be very open about the struggles I've had and how I've gone through this. Um, so I feel like it's helped me connect to students, and I feel specifically being um, on a historically all women's college, um, it just helps me connect even more because on top of being a first-gen student, there's that extra um, barrier of having your having to overcome. Yeah. Absolutely. And so it's another way I'm able to connect with students here. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure they appreciate it when they can talk to someone who's gone through it or right, has experiences in it and can kind of speak to them through your experiences. So. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, we're moving up the ladder here. All right. This is Mad Dog 357. Okay. Okay, it's hiding back here. Wing number seven. Ooh. 357, wing number seven. Okay. I'm going to cheers. This one. Cheers. Yeah. This one has a kick. <coughs> yep. You're doing great. Thank you. Sorry, I don't have any celery for you. Ooh. We got water. <coughs> Napkins. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> So, as a Disney annual pass holder, mm -hmm. right? We want to know. We got some hard hitting questions. For okay. You. We need your top five Disneyland rides. Oh, all right, all right. Doesn't Disney. have to be in order of the top five. Just top five Disneyland only. No California adventure. No California adventure. Okay. Ooh, Space Mountain. Okay. Indiana Jones. Um, I'd say the Haunted Mansion. Okay. Um. Buzz Lightyear. Okay. And then Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. I know it's a random one. But yeah, that's good. I'm a little disappointed that the Tiki Room didn't make it into that list. Um, yeah. Have you? I have not gone in there. I know. Okay. <laughs> Next time you go, Tiki Room has to be in the mix. It's it's like what goes on in there? I have like I don't want to spoil it for you. I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's an all-time great. I think. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, it's that uh, one. Whew, got warm. Feel in my ears. <laughs> like, that's how spicy it is. Okay, number eight, the bomb. Feel like I'm right here with it, wing for wing. <clears throat> we got this. Let's do it. My bites are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. <clears throat> At least you saved it so you can come back to it. Oh yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <clears throat> so, <laughs> hold on. Can I get another napkin here? Woo! I want to get sauce in my eyes. I don't know how my husband goes to that one. <laughs> <clears throat> they all bring something a little different to the table. They do. Alright, here we go. So, compassion fatigue is something that can impact many that work in uh, public health. He talked about your personal self-care strategies um, and avoiding being burnt out. I like to work out daily, so I feel that going to the gym um, and just using that as a moment to just relieve my stress. Whew. Um, spending time with family and friends. Uh -huh. um, going on walks with my dog Vader. I feel like it's hard to come home and still be upset when you have like a goofball of a dog. Like, yeah. Running all over you, so around you, so yeah, that's a good strategy. I have a, a, I have a dog, named Batman. Batman, he's awesome. the same way. He is literally just a ball of I don't even know what. So yeah, I think having that, and spending family time is also good. Um, I might need to get a workout in right now to relieve my stress from these wings. Yes. Um, we're gonna power through though. Let's do it. We're almost there. The, the end off. is definitely near. I'm so glad that it is. <laughs> Wing number nine. Okay. Here we go. This one is blazing from Buffalo of uh, Buffalo Wildlands. So, one of your favorite TV shows we've learned is The Office. Yep. It's going to be leaving Netflix. Can't be happy about that. I'm so mad. About that. <laughs> so, what other shows have you lined up uh, to kind of take over when The Office leaves? I like watching that '70s show. Okay. Um, but I hear they're taking that off Netflix too. Netflix going. Um, Those are good ones. Right? All the good ones are leaving. Um, let me see. I'm also a um, Disney Plus member. subscriber. Yeah. yeah, subscriber. So I watch a lot of movies on Disney Plus. Nice. Uh, I rewatch episodes of like Breaking Bad. Um, Better Call Saul just came out with their new season. So. Okay, so you got some some shows lined up here. Yeah, You're gonna be I all right. Yeah. Oh yeah. For okay. Sure. 
yeah, we're Disney Plus members too. My daughter is obsessed with every show or every movie that's on there. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I think in a year when I've seen every Disney movie ever. So as long as you have Disney, you'll be good to go. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Good news. Thank God. We <laughs> We've arrived at wing number 10. Okay. This one. Last to have triple X. It's tradition. Oh no. That we put a little extra. That's I'm gonna right. put a little extra. You don't have to. I don't think I'm going to. Okay, I'm gonna first. put a little extra yeah. for you. Just a little something something, you know? You are brave. No, we, we're doing this together. We're a good team. Here we go. Last one, best one. Cheers. Cheers. So. You've traveled the world, it seems. Um, destination wedding, you're talking about. What is the next place on your list to visit? Oh, um, me and my husband are actually going to Cabo in April nice. for our anniversary. So I haven't been there yet, and I know it's like a regular for a lot of people to have gone there, but yeah. whew, you can swim with whale sharks there, so. The sharks are back in. Sharks are back, I'm gonna okay. do that again. Nice. And, um, but yeah, that's next on my list. Very good. Yep. Um, well, the good news is, we made it through 10 wings, Thank you survived, yes. you did it all. Because I'm a boogery mess. <laughs> <laughs> right there with you. Um, your chance to shine, what, what do you got going on in, on campus, in your life, that you want to broadcast for everyone, go yeah. ahead, your time to shine. Um, I think since we're in this space, I just want to highlight some of the things that the wellness room has. So. Um, we have dedicated peer health educator office hours. So okay. Monday through Friday, students can come in and talk one-on-one -on -one with a PHE and get different um, advice or, as it relates to their own personal wellness, trying to find what it means to develop their own self-care routine, yep. um, navigating resources on campus. And then our PHEs um, facilitate some fun activities, solo host TED Talks, puzzles, um, just de-stressing activities, yoga, um, rattling off a few that I remember off the top of my head. Yeah. Along with that, we have our amazing um, massage chair. Yeah, so yeah. I feel like that's what draws people into the space. Oh, sorry, it's like it's all right. It's all right. Um, it's an amazing massage chair. We also have different health and wellness resources here. So um, condoms, lubricants, dental dams, uh, tampons. That's open for all students to come in okay. and just grab what they need. We also have mental health resources on our iPad kiosk. Okay. Um, and this students. place is the place they should be then. Yeah, I, I think so. It, it has all the resources that they could be looking for. And if it's not here in this space, we can help help them navigate how to find it. Yeah. So it's like the more air that gets in, like the spicier <laughs> it is all of a sudden. <laughs> well, I'm right there. As you can um, see, I've... Um, I advise that we had some nice um, sauce wings. In. Yeah, and then That's you put that we extra got. Yeah, tab in yeah, there, yeah. so... Well, there you have it. We're here. Uh, we got there our ten wings. We're gonna get out of here. Get some water, celery, bread. I'm CMS and CMS. This is heated conversations. We are out of here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, done deal. Woo! You're brave. I was taking baby, like baby bites. Uh.